<laughs> Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in this video, I'm going to break down that one, Six Flags announcement video from yesterday about Wonder Woman Flight of Courage at the whole minute and 13 video, second video right here. And we're going to do a little shot by shot, a little frame by frame, and we're going to go ahead and break this thing down. So then look at my thoughts and analysis as we go through and afterwards. So let's go ahead. So that's the first thing. Good to know that it's officially opening summer 2022. It's what we thought it would be doing, but it's going to have some official confirmation right there. Longest single row coaster on the planet. And obviously, it's themed to Wonder Woman, but I like they'll have little Wonder Woman logo right there. It's a nice skyline effect. You can probably see that, we might be able to see that from the parking lot, which is uh, pretty cool. I hope it'll be uh, as an anchor, a drawing anchor to the new attraction as this anchors the DC expanded and remodeled, by the way, DC Universe area, which we'll get into. And about a second or so. Then, beautiful skyline altering shot here as Rither's Vengeance is going right through. <laughs> the same time, gorgeous. And this would be a cool effect if you're interested because this is like, this spot is right by, um, right in the middle of, you know, Justice League will be right behind you, and then the Riddler's entrance will be to the left, and then here. So at the times when they're both going on their dive loops at the same time, it'll be quite loud, quite impressive. Like, if I can get this shot in real life next year, that'd be pretty, that'd be a, definitely a thumbnail picture for sure. Airtime Hill. There's Justice League. And by the way, this is basically a Jersey Devil clone, but there's an extra. It's like one foot taller, same 87 degree drop, and the same speed, 58 miles per hour. But there's 300 feet extra of track. That's because the station's oriented in kind of a weird way. So it adds an, a different type of almost wave turn into the station, which you'll see at the end of this video. And there's, it was kind of hard to see, but uh, going back, let's go right, let's go right back there. Hold on, there. Here is the queue, gonna use Green Lantern's outdoor queue. But then here's the entrance. The entrance is gonna be themed to Themyscira, which is one woman's birth home, birth country. And it's, it's gonna be themed to the embassy of Themyscira and it's, Let's see. Hard to see because the track is blocking it, but this is that museum type entrance. is super cool. I'm glad they're theming entrances. I'm glad this whole area is also getting a remodel. Right there. Okay, there you go. You can see here's the uh, entrance queue much better. Here's the, what looks to be the exit of the attraction. But here is, or maybe flash pass than she has. I don't know. But here is um, the theme here, Embassy, which is super cool. And you can see the shape of Green Lantern's entrance, that little circle right there. They're going to reuse, basically do what Disney did with the, the a Tough to Be Bug Theater. Just going to reuse and kind of extend the building a little bit. Definitely the, the original entrance is here. Original Green Lantern station is here, here, and here. But then he's going to add some extensions out here and even above here as well. And there it is. One of them. Flight of Courage. World, world record 20th coaster. Six Flags currently has most coasters on the planet at 19. This will be the 20th. Uh, supposed to debut for the 50th anniversary, but of course COVID just derailed that. But it's nice to have uh, the only park in the world with 20 roller coasters. And can you believe there's even room for more? I mean, especially if they expand to the parking lot and build a parking garage. 
to free up some of that parking lot space, be even room for more 30 coasters, maybe. Super exciting. Super, super cool. And one thing I do want to see is um going on the website. Um, let's see if we can it. Just announced, yeah. So there's some specs on this just announced coaster. The level, of course, will be maximum. Arms and single rail, of course, DC Universe. Touch of features, the wall of the single rail, and it goes upside down. 131 feet, which is again one foot taller than Jersey Devil. Oh, I could have just gone here for the video. 58 miles per hour. Coming 2022. RMC will be RMC's second ride in the park after Twisted Colossus. This is their first ground up ride. Of course, they renovated Colossus since Twisted Colossus. And You'll have a lot of stuff. You can embark on an incredible journey of heroic feats, providing through dives, banks, rolls, and turns designed to challenge the bravest of thrill seekers. And um, the I guess it's, it's kind of still newly themed, I guess. But uh, the Wonder Woman flat ride that used to be called Enterprise is will be definitely be um, not um, will be renamed something else. We 3,300 feet, 13 stories, and we'll be clothed in the six acre DC Universe area park. And it's gonna be expanded, entirely remodeled to include a new innovative restaurant and bar experience, which I'm very excited for that. I mean, Ace of Clubs is a pretty coolly themed restaurant and pretty good too. But I'm very excited to see what this restaurant and bar experience looks like. And they'll have a brand new giant gift shop that will cover their entire land. Entire land will be set right between Batman and Wonder Woman. So be very exciting but yeah what do you guys think of this ride i did a construction update on this ride yesterday and i'll link that in the video above but this is super exciting it's awesome that success is 20 coasters you finally have a single rail coaster which is awesome rmt is doing a fantastic job with those people love those and the only one thing is though six times had four water rides the roaring rapids log jammer Tidal Wave. Log Jam got taken out by Full Throttle. And this took out Tidal Wave. I agree, Tidal Wave didn't really make you wet. I sat in the front row multiple times and didn't get a single drop of water on me. It's really like a you have to stand on the bridge to cool off and you get a nice big splash then. But I wonder when Six Flags will replace some of those water rides and build some new water rides. Um, because it's still again, again, it's 110 degrees there in the summertime. It's very hot, so people will definitely need some water rides to go to, even if they build a water coaster like the Aquaman Power Splash. That takes a relatively small footprint, and maybe that will, or the Power Loop, which same thing with the Loop, maybe that will uh, be Six Flags' 21st coaster in a couple years. I'm guessing next year's announcement may not be a coaster or a ride, even for Six Flags, but maybe for Hurricane Harbor, as of course there's the, the construction fencing. Over the um by that slide complex slide complex at our game harbor, and it wasn't in this announcement. So my guess is maybe the 2023 announcement for Six Flags might be an addition or addition expand an addition expansion or remodel for Hurricane Harbor. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Are you super excited for this roller coaster? Do you love single roller coasters? Have you ever been on a single roller coaster before? And uh, what do you guys think about Wonder Woman? A first major uh, ride at Six Flags, first coaster at Magic Mountain, themed to a female superhero. So that's also pretty cool. Um, Wonder Woman getting some moving up, moving up from the little D ticket ride to the from the flat ride to the major E ticket coaster. So that's pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more theme park updates, including construction updates on Wonder Woman, especially as it starts to go vertical. Now that's been announced. Um, six Flags is nothing to hide from the public, so I feel like those uh, beautiful uh, burgundy supports, those red supports, will go up pretty soon, maybe even next week. So stay tuned for construction updates on that, and as always, have a fantastic day.